You have around 30 trillion cells in your body, and DNA is found in most but not all of them. For example, mature red blood cells don't have any DNA. The DNA is not just floating around in the cell. Most of it is stored in a small compartment in the cell called the nucleus. DNA is packed into chromosomes. It is the cell's hereditary material and contains instructions for development, growth and reproduction. DNA is made of two linked strands that wind around each other to resemble a twisted ladder, a shape known as a double helix. Each strand has a backbone made of deoxyribose sugar and phosphate groups. Attached to each sugar is one of four bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine or thymine. The two strands are connected by chemical bonds between the bases, adenine bonds with thymine, and cytosine bonds with guanine. DNA is a self-replicating structure. Replication needs to occur because existing cells divide to produce new cells and each cell needs a full instruction manual to operate properly. So the DNA needs to be copied before cell division. DNA replication is catalyzed by a set of enzymes. Let's learn about the DNA replication process and the role of enzymes involved in DNA replication. Replication begins with the spotting of the origin of replication followed by the unwinding of the two DNA strands. Unzipping of DNA strands need high energy input hence it catalyzed by enzyme helicase. The separation of the two single strands of DNA creates a Y shape called a replication fork. The two separated strands will act as templates for making the new strands of DNA. An enzyme called primase bind to the end of the strand and construct RNA primer which is RNA nucleotides complementary to the parent DNA templates. DNA polymerase 3 recognizes the primer and binds to the leading strand and then walks along it, adding new complementary nucleotide bases to the strand of DNA in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. DNA polymerase are always polymerized from 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Replication in one of the DNA template occur, forming leading strand towards the replication fork at 5' prime to 3' prime direction. This type of replication is known as continuous replication. Other DNA template are anti-parallel, so replication occur away from replication fork forming lagging strand. This type of replication is known as discontinuous replication. Numerous RNA primers are made by the primase enzyme and bind at various points along the lagging strand. DNA polymerase recognize primer, adding new complementary nucleotide bases to the strand of DNA in 5' prime to 3' prime direction. This chunks of DNA called Okazaki fragments. Once all of the bases are matched up, an enzyme called exonuclease strips away the primer. The gaps where the primer were are then filled by more complementary nucleotides. Finally, an enzyme called DNA ligase seals up the sequence of DNA into two continuous double strands. The result of DNA replication is two DNA molecules consisting of one new and one old chain of nucleotides. This is why DNA replication is described as semi-conservative, half of the chain is part of the original DNA molecule, half is new. Following replication the new DNA automatically winds up into a double helix.